Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Boy, I can't hardly believe I already killed off the first week of August. Time goes quick. Anyway, um, while I was out in Pennsylvania, I did the normal flea market stops. And by that, I mean I went to uh, Morningstar. And I went to Williams Grove. Um, I've been, once again, kind of trying to subdue my flea marketing because I got a horde of stuff that I'm having trouble taking care of now. But I really do enjoy going to the flea markets and seeing what I could find. So, first of all, this thing is going to get its own separate video. Um... It's a CL70. I got it at... Um, this one came from Williams Grove. And... I don't have paperwork for it. But I mean, just... Quickly. I mean, we'll go all through it. The key is in it. So, anyway. I was, I was really... Uh, happy to find that it cost me 150 bucks. So this is one of those uh, singing fishes It sings I am alive. It was a dollar. I mean the wires um, And the battery carrier was a dollar the clock um, Needs a little love and attention, but it sings for a lease. I think my wife paid two dollars for it I got to put a little time into it the two rims together Never used. Bearings actually feel pretty good. Um, anyway, I gave gave the guy three for the two of those. A lot of 50 cent stuff. You guys know I buy these whenever I see them. Because quarter inch drive in one side. Um, quarter, well, quarter inch female one side, male on the other. Once again, makes it really easy to drive things. The hatchet and... The paint, I think I, they, they were a buck each. Um, screwdrivers. You guys know that I've been going crazy trying to find um, a number two snap-on screwdriver. Um, this is a number two bl but flat blade, and look at the way this is. I managed to find both of these while I was there. And... Um, other than having some initials carved into this, I can't see that it says snap on anywhere. You know, the way it, it doesn't have the extra shoulder. So I don't think it's a snap on, and this definitely isn't a snap on. But they were two really good quality screwdrivers, and you can just tell by how much they weigh. Particularly this one weighs about the same amount as the step on. So I'm, you know, hoping that they're halfway decent screwdrivers. Um, the lights, I don't know. They were like a quarter each. I didn't pay much very much. I got the lights and the fish together. I think it was $3. This was $0.50. Cents. They're the Krypton light bulbs. Hammer, buck and a half. And this was um, a dollar um, twenty-five. This is when I say Morning Star. This is where it is and what it is. And you know, you could see for the hammer and the pry bar. Um, batteries were three bucks. These are supposed to be good until twenty twenty. Wire, bell wire. A dollar. Um, this was a dollar. Looks like most of it is still here. Um, this whole bin of wire was a dollar. The flicker candle was a dollar. Um, the spark plug wrenches, both of those were a dollar. The hose was a buck. The uh, this hose, 
it was 50 cents or a dollar the toilet was 50 cents and and that's about it that's all I brought home I had my um, wife with me at um, Williams Grove and if you're familiar with Williams Grove the market is is huge um, if one had to compare it to markets um, for those of you who were familiar with the old Maybrook I mean you're probably looking at three times the size um, Stormville maybe twice the size three times the size depends how well they fill up Stormville so I mean it's just a, a huge market and there's a million things there and there's other stuff once again I could have brought to you know own just for the joy of owning it but I'm trying to you know tick tock how far are we off of frost right um, September October y you know I don't think I'll make it all the way to November um, 7th or 8th whatever today is before before we get we get frost so you know the, the clock the clock is winding down right I'm uh, I'm between 60 and 90 days away from you know leaves falling and having to have a little better control over this whole mess so um, I I gotta I gotta get on it I'm glad I took that walk with you guys earlier because I've discovered I I do have a project that I need wood and it looks like I have quite a bit of wood hiding out in here so um, I gotta put some of that to use Okay, folks, I really want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment. I'm really thrilled with everyone that has subscribed. Um, don't forget the contest. Go watch that video, subscribe, and uh, comment on that video, and uh, get, in the, get in the contest there. Folks, I want to thank you all once again for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.